How's your relationship with the rest of the guys? You guys? Uh, I talked to I talked to Nikki just the other day. Um, Tommy always wishes me happy birthday. Mick actually lives here in Nashville, but I I don't hear from him. See, you guys have seen enough of each other for so three why? lifetimes, right? <laughs> Biggest parties, man, because we all lived together as a band, literally, yeah. in walking distance, maybe 45, 50 steps away from the whiskey. And Vince would get on the mic and be like, yeah, after the show, everybody come on up to the pad, have an after party. <laughs> and there would literally be four, 500 people in our little shitty apartment that we all lived oh, in. Lord, Cops so are coming over, I like, you guys, you can't way. have parties like this here. Yeah. I'm just really impressed. At your chopping skills. Sometimes you don't always pay attention to the to the recipes, but you pay attention to the safety because you're like, I need these, <laughs> right? <laughs> you're one of the biggest stars. And you don't don't go humble on me. Just oh man, you I'm gonna start to say turning nothing. red and shit. I know, I'm with you. I'm, I might get red <laughs> saying it, but why weren't you a front man? How, why did you get stuck with the drums? I mean, you're a bad drummer. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I, I always I think that's I think that's one of the reasons I've I'm not that kind of personality where being in the back playing the drums is enough for me. I'm like, <laughs> sure I'm like no, 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 no. I want to be up there. I want to, you know, I want to be the ringleader. Drums turning so, upside yeah. down, circling that's them over the arena. That's what I mean, started all that for me. I was like, yeah. I want to do something spectacular, you know? And I remember going to my very first concert. I went to go see Pat Travers. Tommy Aldridge was playing drums. And he's a bad drummer. Yeah, he was right? so physical. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, and he breaks into a drum solo. And I'm looking around, and everyone's leaving. People are going to get a beer, going to buy a shirt, going to the bathroom, whatever. And I was like, it freaked me out so much that I was like, I, under I understand why they're leaving because everybody's not a drummer and no one can see what he's doing technically. There's a big wall of drums here. All you see is sticks flailing. Yeah. So that inspired me, seeing that and other drum solos inspired me to like take it up front and show people what's going on back there so i started rotating the drums halfway so now they'd have a top view I saw that too. and then i started spinning them around and now they're on roller coasters wait you see the new one i'm, I'm, I'm building right now dude it's oh, it's man. insane so he can be tommy here or the way i like him because it's upside down you know it's uh, People remember him by. You know, Vince is used to seeing him that way because either Vince is on his back, out, looking up at Tommy, or yeah, <laughs> he exactly. looks upside down, exactly. or Tommy's swinging upside down in that $300 million roller coaster that he's got <laughs> on stage, using up all the money. How could you guys let your drummer spend that much money? I don't know. Man. We, I mean, we created, we created a monster the very first time he just went like this. You know, that and was boy, it. And it got... It and got, all of a sudden, it's flipping and it's turning and it's so. running. It's... Like he said, nobody's going to get a beer when he's doing that solo. <laughs>